Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I will guide you on how to process your SID or DC failures identification document like this one. So, ano nga ba yung uses ng SID? So, based sa mga nabasa ko, yung SID will guarantee the right of a SID failure to enter a country temporarily like for example, transit, crew change, or shore leave. This will also prove that the seafarer is a legitimate seafarer. Okay, so yung mga bansa na nag owner ng SID natin is limited pa lamang. As far as I remember, around 30 plus lang. For example, we have Brazil, Sri Lanka, Philippines, Korea, Russia, Spain, India, Pakistan, and the rest you can always get the information from the marina website and now we will start with the tutorial so open your browser and go to sidsrb.marina.gov.ph once nasa website ka na ng online appointment system, click on schedule an appointment and you can read on the terms and privacy. Once you're ready, you can agree and type your email address and click on I am not a robot and click on submit. On my experience, wala akong na-receive na email for the OTP sa aking registered email address. So, ang ginawa ko na lang is hinamit ko yung mobile number instead. So, click nyo lang yung send the OTP to my mobile number instead. And, type your mobile number. An active mobile number. Click submit. And in a few seconds, you should receive the six-digit OTP. Once your OTP is ready, click on enter six-digit OTP and enter your code and click on submit. So the first step is to set an appointment. On the right side, makikita nyo yung appointment summary. So at the moment, um, wala pa yan, zero pa. Kasi wala pa tayong nagagawang appointment. So, pili lang kayo ng uh, branch ng marina office kung saan. Ang balak ko talaga nung una is yung sa PITX kasi mas malapit. Unfortunately, wala pang open slots for... Uh, that time na nagbabalak akong mag-set ng appointment. So, I tried the central office and luckily nung January, may nag-open na January 6. So, nag-iisa lang siya yung kulay green. So, as you can see, merong 76 slots for the morning from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, click nyo lang yung um, sa morning slot. Then, next. Then, piliin nyo kung ano yung gusto nyo i-process. So, it's either SID or SRB or pareho. So, sa case ko, ang kailangan ko lang sa ngayon ay SID. Kasi yung Siemens book ko is still valid until 2027. So, matagal-tagal pa yun. So, select your category. So, it will be overseas. Then, select seafarer type. For me, it's officer. Then, what do you want to process? So, SID tayo. Then, new. Kasi, First time natin kukuha. Then on the right side, ipapakita na kung magkano yung babayaran nyo. 
so it will cost us 600 pesos for the SID then click on next then we have to start filling up our information so fill up nyo ng lahat ng kailangan dyan hindi ko na ipapakita yung pagpifill up at madali lang naman yan so once you have completed filling up the information you can click on next for the next step which is the documents you have two options there so do you want to upload your documents you have the no and the yes so kung pinili mo yung yes ang nakalagay dyan is I want to upload my documents uh, take note na kung SID lamang ang iyong ipaprocess hindi mo kailangan ang apat na yan ang nag-iisang kailangan mo lamang kung SID lamang ang iyong ipaprocess ay ang iyong Siemens book and photocopy ng Siemens book hindi ko alam bakit hindi nila ginawang pinaghiwalay yung required documents kasi katulad nan kahit SID lang yung pinili mo dun sa required documents lumalabas pa rin yung apat na requirements which is yung NBI birth certificate C service at yung basic training so sa case ko ang ginawa ko para sigurado ako pinrepair ko yan lahat. But ako na nagsasabi sa inyo, dahil na experience ko na mag-process ng SID, ang kailangan nyo lamang ay Siemens book, which is the original, and yung photocopy ng Siemens book. Yung front page lang, or yung page lang na merong details. Yung part na yan, yung apat na requirements na yan, is para lamang sa mga magpa-process ng Siemens book or SRB. So, dahil ang required lang naman sa SID is Siemens book, so click lang natin yung no. And don't forget to bring your Siemens book and photocopy. Click next and doon na tayo sa payment. For the payment, you can choose between credit card, debit card, cash, e-money, and bank net. So, bawat mode of payment, merong kanya-kanyang service fee. So for this transaction, gumamit ako ng credit card. So they're supporting Visa and MasterCard. So enter nyo lang yung required information for your card. Then you can proceed with the payment. I will still recommend using Gcash kasi siguro mas safe siya. Lalo kung meron ka lang naman small amount dun sa wallet mo ng Gcash compared to using credit card and debit card. Kaso sa case ko wala pa akong Gcash kaya ito lang yung fastest option ko sa ngayon after filling up you can click on submit then your transaction will be processed Yung sa BPI nga pala, meron silang 36 pesos na service charge. So, yung total amount ng babayaran ko is 636. Then, send the OTP to your registered mobile number. So, you can click on continue. Input your OTP and click on continue. So it will take a few seconds to verify your payment. 
So, hintayin lang natin. Okay, so once payment has been verified, you will see this payment completed on the top part. And papakita rin sa inyo yung details ng naging transaction nyo. Important thing, huwag nyo kakalimutang i-print yung receipt. And dalhin yung printed receipt on your appointment date. So, ito yung magiging proof ng inyong appointment. After printing out the receipt, you can go to view my appointment status. So, doon, meron pa mga ibang options. You can check yung naging transactions nyo. And also, the reminders. So, sa reminders, ipapakita sa inyo kung ano yung required document depending kung ano yung kukunin nyo, kung SID or SRB. So, dyan maliwanag din naman kung ano yung kailangan lamang. So, SID, SRB or Siemens book lang. At huwag kakalimutan yung photocopy ng Siemens book and yung copy ng inyong resibo, yung payment transaction nyo. Okay, if sa central office kayo ng marina doon sa may port area which is on the 20th street. So pagdating nyo doon, akyat lang kayo sa second floor. Pakita nyo yung appointment nyo sa guard. Then you will go through the security check. Meron silang x-ray machine doon. And then after that, proceed kayo doon sa pila ng step 1 which is the screening. So, sa screening, they will ask for your original Siemens book and photocopy of the Siemens book and also the printed appointment. Then, for step 2, pipila uli kayo dun. So, another pila yung step 2. So, sa step 2, which is the data capturing, you will need to verify your information. So, ipapakita nila yan sa monitor, then i-check mo, then they will take a photo of you for the ID, then after that, if okay ang lahat, magsasign ka na. And for the last step, which is the releasing, so ang sabi sa amin, after the data capturing, we will have to wait for about 1 to 2 hours. So, sa case ko, 2 hours yung inabot ko mula step 1 hanggang ma-release yung ID ko. So, sa releasing, mag-a-announce sila, tatawagin nila yung mga pangalan, and make sure, once you receive your ID, double check nyo yung details, make sure na tama lahat ng information na nandoon. Lastly, para dun sa mga pupunta, siguro kahit sa ibang branch, magtanong-tanong kayo lalo na dun sa mga pila. Kasi napansin ko, dun sa pila sa marina, medyo may kaguluhan. So yung iba nalilito, napapapila dun sa step 2 agad, kahit hindi pa naman sila nakapag-step 1. So make sure bago kayo pumila, tanongin nyo muna yung last man kung anong pila ba yan. Then, you can proceed. I hope nakatulong itong video na ito para ma-process ang inyong SID.